Hey guys, this is Max from Bushcraft Bear and today we're gonna have a look on the knife by Tlim from Poland and the model is the C578. Yeah, that's it, the C578 by Tlim knives from Poland and the knife has a overall length of 19.5 centimeters of which the handle has 10.5 centimeters and the blade 9 centimeters um, and the cutting edge without that large cutout here has 7 centimeters. The blade has a 3 mil <coughs> thick spine um, and a 90 degree spine for striking fire rods real easy and uses a carbon steel. Um, the bevel is a flat grind with a secondary bevel and as you can see the blade has that large cutout which is really nice for choking up on the blade. Well we're gonna see the blade right in a minute in action um, but I wouldn't recommend that knife too much for um, wood carving and bushcraft tasks simply because of the um, grind of the blade. Um, I would recommend a Scandinavian grind for wood carving tasks more than a flat grind but if you're a hunter or a fisherman that knife is really something for you with that size and that handle material you get a really good grip and really nice control for butchering smaller game or um, for yeah taking care of your fish and therefore that knife is really a nice thing in my opinion. But let's have a look how it performs in wood carving tasks. Now here we go with some carving tasks. As I said the blade angle isn't perfect for wood carving things. But obviously an uh, outdoor knife should be capable of doing some wood carving tasks even if it's primarily meant as a hunting knife. At least that's my opinion. But yeah, that knife really is capable of doing also some wood carving tasks. Obviously a sharp blade like that one has no problems with cutting wood. And also smaller tasks are pretty easy done also because of that small blade length. Well, as you can see, even with that small handle, or I should say with that, with that pretty thin handle, it's still pretty comfortable to do power cuts where you have a lot of strength on the handle and yeah, it's really not uncomfortable. And with a sharp blade, as I said, well, it's no problem cutting up some wood. So yeah, in my opinion, decent working knife. Also that opportunity to choke up is pretty nice because you get a better control for smaller things and also for doing feather sticks that's really nice. I really like to choke up when I'm doing feather sticks to be really close to the cutting edge and here uh, my finger really rests naturally in that yeah, big dent right here. So that's pretty nice in my opinion. As I said, the knife has a nice 90 degree spine, so dropping sparks from a fire rod isn't a problem at all. And as you can see, we get really, really large flashes. So, pretty decent work in here as well. Well, summing up, I would say the Tlim C578 by Tlim knives from Poland is a pretty decent working knife. As I said, I wouldn't recommend it too much for wood carving tasks only because of the blade angle. Um, I would recommend a Scandinavian grind for that more. And that one has a flat grind with a secondary bevel. But that flat grind with secondary bevel is perfect for, um, yes, 
or round paths like um, yeah kitchen knife camp knife um, well obviously it's not a kitchen knife you will use all day in your kitchen at home but um, for a backup knife in your camp situation for using as a kitchen knife as a buttering knife as a hunting and fishing knife that knife is just perfect and as you have seen yeah wood carving tasks are still able um, and uh, with a sharp blade like that they are able pretty simple um, it's not that easy and not that comfortable like with a Scandinavian grind at least that's my opinion but Scandinavian grinds are simply made for wood carving tasks um, yeah but that knife is still pretty pretty decent for wood carving tasks uh, a flat bevel would be my second choice um, after the Scandinavian grind for wood carving tasks so pretty nice right there and for hunting and fishing it's just perfect um, sadly um, it's not a hunting season at the moment and also not fishing season so I can show you the knife in yeah action on buttering game um, yeah but trust my word um, the knife would be really awesome for that um, also the handle is pretty nice pretty textured you get a good grip even with wet hands um, and also with sweaty hands the large cutout is pretty nice for good control also for the skinning task I like to choke up a little bit and you can really do that here pretty pretty simple without cutting your finger by touching the blade accidentally and yeah even with a pretty small and, and thin um, handle it's still really really comfortable even if you do powerful cuts like you have seen by the wood carving um, tasks so yeah the last thing um, you have to know in my opinion that knife comes without a sheath and that's once again a plus and a minus um, Obviously the downside is you don't have a sheath with a knife and you have to get um, yeah, a custom sheath or do it your own. Um, but the major plus side is that you don't have a sheath um, that doesn't fit your needs. And um, that's a problem I see very very often. If I order a knife it comes with a bad sheath and I've paid, um, yeah, I've paid a price for that sheath. It's always um, within the knife price and um, then I'm unhappy with the sheath and still have to buy me a, a new one. So you don't have the problem with that one. Um, you get only the knife, you spend um, the money only for the knife and not for a sheath and then you have yeah, money left over for um, yeah, buying you a, a sheath that's made for your specifications. So yeah, my opinion, pretty nice knife. Um, check it out on tlim.net and um, yeah there you can see that knife and also the c440 bushcraft which i've reviewed um, yeah pretty pretty decent products here in my opinion so thanks for watching and see you the next time